This week we started with messages from God saying, I've heard your prayers, I've seen your tears, I am your comfort, I am your deliverance, I am your savior and salvation, I am your strength and I disperse the darkness. And today the message is, I am your creator. This week I had a problem with my phone and buying a new device and I didn't really know how to connect them together. What do we do in our lives when we have troubles connecting to God, connecting to others, connecting to ourselves? We are just exactly like our phones, our devices, our cars, the things that we have. Whenever they are not working, whenever something is wrong and is not proper, we go to the manufacturer. Likewise, in our lives, we need to go back to the owner. We need to go back to the manufacturer. And this is exactly what the Lord saying in Isaiah chapter 43 this week. But now, thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and who formed you, O Israel, he fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by your name, you are mine. We do belong to God. He knows us and He knows how to fix things in our lives. You know, as I told you, I had a problem with my phone uh, this past week. Actually, you know, we do these recordings just with very simple things. So I bought a new uh, microphone. So, and I, um, I tried to connect it to the phone and it didn't work. And I didn't know exactly what's going on until I went and I checked why it might be it might not be working. And I, when I got to the manufacturer website, they said, hey, yeah, well, you know what? You actually just have to download this app and uh, change few settings and it will just work. For some time, I thought like my phone is not good or like the device I bought is not working and they are not connecting together. Likewise, in our lives, when we do not connect to God, we need to turn to God and ask this question, what do I need to do? And the Lord will answer and say, you belong to me. You are my son, you are my daughter. I own you, I created you, I redeemed you. And in today's uh, reading, the Lord is saying, even if you go through water, the water could give life, but the water also could take away life. Fire could give us heat, could uh, 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 help in many things, but also could destroy. So where to find this balance? How to make things work at the right time with the just right amount of strength? And this is what the paralytic is struggling this week. And every one of us who is paralyzed, struggling in our lives. And the Lord Jesus Christ is coming and saying, don't worry, I don't need to take or get rid of things. Or you don't need to wait for an angel to come and stir up the water because I am your God. I am your Redeemer. I own you, I am your creator, and I know exactly what to do to make things work in your life. Let us conclude this week and look forward for the next week. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.